Hey, how's it going, man? So, that movie was fantastic. And going back to the Guy Ritchie and the script thing, my, I, what I want to know is, did you know you were going to be working with Guy Ritchie and just immediately said yes? Or was it a question of you got the script and were inclined to do this film? So it was a little bit of both. I got the script and uh, I knew off the top it was a Guy Ritchie script. So already I read it with a smile on my face. It was a whole different, right. you know, certain directors, you welcome the material. And so I was excited to read it. And when I read it, I loved it. Uh, and uh, I, I saw it in my head uh, as a Guy Ritchie film. And uh, it, it, was, it was dope to be able to actually see how he gets his movies to look and feel so real. You know, and, and it's the reason why, as I told, you know, Sika is that he's constantly rewriting. You know, so you never have the opportunity as an actor to perfect anything to make it look cool or make it look badass. You're literally the whole time trying to figure out, OK, how the hell am I going to do this now? You know, and, and so before you can figure it out, he's yelling action. So there's a there's a certain clumsiness factor to it and a certain um, uh, urgency to everything that you're doing all day long. I mean, when we leave that trailer, we only go in the very early morning to, to put on our gear and then at the end of the night to take it off. You don't have a break. So you're constantly going take after take after take and it, it takes out the thinking part where you're and the acting part. You know what? What I felt like when I left the, a, a Guy Ritchie film was, I don't know how my acting was that day, but I know my reacting was on point. All you did was, <laughs> all you do is react all day long to new, new shit. <laughs> you know, and so, and, 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 I, and I, I guess that's how I figured out how he gets those ultra real performances out of his actors. If I'm correct, I just, I just saw this this morning. If I'm correct, you got offed by Jason Kills You. Uh, and I'm curious to know if you, because it wasn't a big like fight scene. Did you want to fight Jason Statham like in a longer scene, or did you were you kind of content with all right? I'll keep it right here. So uh, that was again uh, a uh, guy rewrite, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you how that scene happened. Guy literally grappled on the ground with my stunt double for about 22 minutes, trying to figure out what was the most realistic takedown for Jason and I. And then finally we were just like, all right, all right. Cause, cause it got to the point where, you know, guy actually grapples. Like he, he, he practices Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and my stunt double, Sofian Francis, he practiced jiu Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So neither one of them were trying to get pinned. They were trying to choke each other out. They were flipping each other over. It got to a point where the, you know, the first AD is like, okay, uh, do, do, do I stop? Do I stop this? Like, what's, what's happening right now? They kept going. So Jason and I were like, all right, thanks. Let's, we'll figure it out. And that's when we came up with the sequence that you see now, which originally was choreographed to be a much bigger, more elaborate fight. And God just felt like it was too, it looked too much like a movie. It looked too much like movie fighting, you know? And uh, and so I, Jason and I will take credit for how that ended because I had my rifle slung across my, my back. And it just made sense from that angle um, that that ending would happen that way. So after about, you know, 22 minutes of guy grappling on set and getting up sweaty and hot and shirt ripped and, you know, all that, we figured out that that scene. But that's a Guy Ritchie set, man. Anything can happen. You can end up going from pitching him a scene to grappling with him on the ground for 22 minutes. <laughs>